In 2015 and 2016, Israel hit by multiple terror stabbing attacks, random stabbing attacks on the streets. Very similar, frankly, to what happened in London on Saturday night. Random stabbing. Joining him is now is the author of the book Peace for Peace, David Rubin. David is the former mayor of Shiloh, Israel, and a frequent guest on this program. First question, David. How did Israel defend itself and stop these random stabbing attacks? Well, there are two things, Stuart. Uh, number one is to recognize that the best defense is a good offense. Uh, you can't wait for the terrorists to come to you. You have to go to them. And uh, number two, you have to recognize what is the, the enemy. Who is the enemy? The enemy is not some, some sort of uh, fictional term called Islamism. The enemy is the core of Islam, which believes in jihad, holy war against the infidels. And uh, that's, that, that's the problem. So one, once you recognize the ideology... Uh, then you go after it aggressively and you try to stop it. Okay. And uh, uh, that includes a, lot, it includes a lot of levels, Stuart. A lot of levels. Educational but, level, but the, but bottom line, David, uh, legal and you security. You go after them. I know there's a delay on this, so it makes the conversation difficult, but essentially you're saying you go after them. You stop playing defense. I want to move on to the Arab Absolutely. countries, uh, Muslim countries, which are now cutting ties with Qatar. Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, the United Arab Emirates, Yemen, Egypt, they've cut relations with Qatar, a, a, a Gulf state. Why are they doing this and what does it mean, David? Well, it's a fascinating development. Uh, we just discussed about a week ago how Saudi Arabia is, is developing secret ties with Israel uh, to combat uh, the Islamic extremism like uh, ISIS and and to combat Iran. So Saudi Arabia is very, very concerned about Iran. It's very concerned about ISIS. And Qatar, apparently less so. Qatar has been aiding and abetting the terrorists, according to Saudi Arabia, and uh, helping ISIS, helping the Muslim Brotherhood, and has been doing that for years. And, and recently they came out with uh, uh, what became a very public statement about how they want to strengthen ties with Iran. Uh, who, and to Saudi Arabia, strengthening ties with Iran is anathema, and of course to Israel it is as well. There's something going on here. There's a new arrangement in the Middle East, and it seems to have been provoked to some degree by President Trump's visit. you agree with that? Uh, yes. Well, Pre President Trump is, is trying to realign things. President Trump is, is open to new ideas. And when you're open to new ideas, then there's a lot that could be done. Uh, for about 40 years, uh, there haven't been any new ideas. And Obama certainly wasn't coming up with any new ideas that would be positive towards Israel. Uh, he, uh, Trump is trying to develop an alliance uh, between Saudi Arabia and Israel. Those, the, the, those are the two key players in the area. Mm. And an alliance between Saudi Arabia and Israel changes uh, the whole playing field. You know, David, just a couple of months ago, the idea of an alliance between Saudi Arabia and Israel would never have been mentioned. It wouldn't even been considered. But now we're talking about it. David Rubin, thank you very much indeed for joining us, sir. We're obliged to you. Thank you very much.